Doesn't that feel... What? You were winning, but now it's not ya, cause we got ya! <laughs> go! Go, 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 go! Can you put on more steam? Those guys are gaining on us! That's right, we're gaining! Come on, pal, you're a diesel, named Diesel! You can do it! I'm bigger and stronger any day! Ah, bolts! Don't worry, he may be stronger, but I'm more nimble. And that means quicker! <gasps> Thomas! That was a dangerous curve to head side back there! Ha! Oldest trick in the book! Just ignore him! It's okay. This is where being quicker comes in handy. Did you hear that? I hope they're okay. They're fine, but we're a million miles behind. We need to go faster. Hold on. You didn't loosen a wheel just now, did you? Maybe, but it's okay. I have lots more. Do you see them? Are they coming? Oh, there they go. Way too fast. Come on, Diesel. I got a lug nut riding on this. Thought you could lose me on the curves, huh? We did lose you. Yeah, we're almost there. Watch this. Go, Diesel! We're gonna win! Uh-oh. Uh. Don't worry about them. That's the second oldest trick in the book. It wasn't a trick. We're going back. But we're almost at the finish line. Why? Why? Diesel! Are you okay? Yeah, but I'm gonna need a new wheel. <sighs> I knew it was loose, but I didn't want to lose. Now I lost a wheel and the race, too. We always race, but it wasn't fun this time. Why not? Maybe it's because you were cheating. Cheating? Me? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Hmm, Diesel derailed. Looks like you owe me a lug nut. <sighs> I can't see anything. He must be too far out. Cranky, can you see him? Looking and looking and nope. Nothing. What are we going to do? <gasps> Harold! Can you help us? He's not hearing us. Cranky, can you lift me up so he can hear? Whoa, so high. Harold! Harold! Diesel and I were playing hide and surprise. And you think he might be stuck on a barge out at sea? Can you help us find him? Gen 4, that's a pilot speak for OK. <laughs> Operation Find Your Friend Diesel is a go. Thanks, Harold! Uh, Cranky, do you think you could let me down now? <laughs> to get off this... Uh, if I wasn't so worried about winning the game, I wouldn't be stuck on this silly barge. Now, I'll probably never get a chance to beat anyone at anything ever again. Hey, you squawked for your friends. That might work. I can... For mine. Okay, they'll hear me. Any minute now. Any minute. Maybe I'm too far away for them to hear me? I've got to get them to see me somehow. <gasps> Look! Those seagulls! There's the barge! That must be 
must be where Diesel is. It's Harold. Harold! I'm over here! Ahoy, Diesel. Heard you could use some help. Bingo. Now for step two. You can start pulling any time, Harold. <sighs> I was, but this barge is really heavy. <sighs> ah, broken blades. We're gonna need a new approach for Operation Rescue Diesel. But you can do something, right? I don't want to be stuck on this barge forever. Not to worry, friend. Help is on the way. I got it from here, Harold. Is this it? Nope. How about this? Nope. This one. Thomas, that's an old bucket. Sorry, Diesel. I just don't see any more. Hey, guys. You here to pick up recyclables for Bullstrode too? Race you to Brendam Docks, but you know I'll win. <laughs> Connor's got rusty. You'd better catch up to her before she makes that delivery. Then let's quit slugging and get chugging, Thomas. Catch you back in the sheds, Percy. <laughs> Looks like Bullstrode's getting ready to leave. Oh, no. Hurry! <laughs> there you are. Told you I'd win. Hey, where's your cargo? Kana, where are the cans? The cans? Oh, no! I dropped them off to Bullstrode, and he just left! Uh, this just keeps happening. We'll never get Rusty back now. I made you a Thomas promise, and I'm gonna keep it. Hey! What's going on? <gasps> okay, that was pretty impressive. For a chimney head. Yeah, no. Oh. <gasps> Got it! My can! You found it! Oh, Rusty, I missed you! And now that you're back, everything is... Uh, that's not my can. What? Of course it is. It's got a rusty spot, just like yours, see? This can has a rusty spot on the bottom. My can has a rusty spot on the top. They're totally different. But how? Both rusty cans and... Diesel, wait! Diesel, wait up! I don't get it. Why is this so important to you? That can is crusty and old, kind of creaky and cold. No, it can't hold your hand, and it's not made of gold. It ain't much of a talker, and it can't sit or stand. Why do you love that rusty can? He may be squeaky and loud, and he can't race around. But if you tell him a secret, he won't make a sound. No, he won't hug you back, but he'll stay till the end. Oh, man, I love my rusty can. Bum, 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 bum. He's a thin piece of tin. He's a bucket of junk. He's so icky and sticky and full of gunk. But he means so much more to me than I ever bum, planned. Oh, man, I love my rusty can. That's right. Oh, man, I miss my rusty can. I see why you miss your rusty can. I'm so late. Hey, I think this could be a shortcut up here. This is great! I wonder why I've never gone this way before. Now we're back on track, and I'm not gonna miss a thing. Mia, this is a one-way track! <gasps> oh, James. I must have missed the sign. I have beach balls, Nia. Bouncy, bouncy beach balls. How am I ever going to find them all? I'm so sorry, James. I was just trying to stick to my plan. Oh, well, accidents happen. If anyone can handle it, I'm sure I can. Hey, look. Is that a beach ball? And Mia. Hey, Mia, what happened? <sighs> I had to go the long way, but I went the wrong way instead. Because of the cows? 
I heard some cows caused a traffic jam at Wellsworth, and it messed up traffic all over the island. How are your deliveries going? One, I didn't get to see Bitsy frolicking at McCall's farm. Two, I didn't get to see the palm trees swaying at Norrenby Beach. And three, I'm gonna miss the concert in Vickerstown. Thanks to me, there's not even gonna be a sunset concert in Vickerstown. Well, you can't do everything. Thanks to my plan, I'm not gonna get to do anything, and nothing is gonna get delivered. It's good to have a plan, but maybe you just tried to do too much? That's true. I did try to do too much. So now we need a new plan, a not too much plan. But I might need your help. Sure, tell us what to do. We're, We're in. in. Okay, Thomas, you need to get these palm trees to Normby Beach. But the track is still closed because of that traffic jam. That's okay if you're up for adventure. You're gonna go by water. Uh, Nia, Thomas may be amazing, but he can't swim. No, but Bostrode can. Awesome! I can't wait to see how they look. Kana, this piano needs to be in Vickerstown before sunset. Can you do it? With my speed, it'll be a breeze. And I'll take the cows to McCall's, because that's the one thing I wanted to see the most. Percy, can you find which way is least crowded? Can do. Now this is a plan that's gonna work. Those palm trees will be beautiful. Thanks for the ride, Bullstrode. My pleasure, Thomas. I'm going as fast as I can. Sorry, I'm just so excited. Can I help you get done sooner? Really? That'd be great. Can you take this big bulb over to Vickers Town Lighthouse? No problem. Thanks, Thomas. Switch on one, two, three. Great. I'll see you at the docks in a little bit. Great. Oh, and don't use the shortcut through Crumble Canyon. It's supposed to be really windy and crumbly today. Crumble Canyon. Got it. Hmm. Thanks, Thomas. I thought Percy was delivering this light bulb today. He was. I'm just helping him out so he can meet the rest of us at the docks when the telescope gets here. <gasps> That's Bullstrode! He's got the telescope! You got this, Carly? Yes, I'll get Great! I've got to get to the docks. See ya! Thomas! I can't wait to see that telescope! I know! I'll take a shortcut through Crumble Canyon. What did Percy say about Crumble Canyon again? Something about it being windy? Whoa! And crumbly? Is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bullstrode should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? Pfft. I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You no know, buts. You have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Aww. Can't believe I'm going to miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. Thanks, Sandy. Now it's any minute now. Do you see him yet? Not yet. Uh-uh. Hey, guys. Did any of you see that the crossing arms... Hold on, Thomas. He should be here any minute. Huh? Oh, right. Young Val's coming.
him today. He's coming for the fireworks show tonight. I can't wait to see him. And that cool tiger painted on his side. And hear his whistle that sounds like a tiger. <laughs> Just like that. That must be him. A vast land lovers. There's a passenger on board who seems to be eager to see ya. You have to it! Roar! Everyone, I'm so happy to be back with you all in Sodor. And I brought a surprise for the fireworks show tonight. All the way from China. Cool! That's awesome! Can you tell us again how you earned your totally cool and sort of scary tiger decal? Please! Tell us! <laughs> oh, it wasn't such a big deal. I was just trying to help out. Come on! Please, with actual yeah. grease on top! Okay, okay. It was for the time I rescued... <gasps> Annie and Clarabelle? Annie and Clarabelle? I thought you rescued an engine from an ice cliff with a snowplow. No! James is pulling Annie and Clarabelle this way. But the crossing arm is stuck, and they don't see Gordon coming. We have to stop them. Oh, yeah. Guys, I was trying to say before... Gordon! Gordon! Thank you, Young Bao. Nicely done. Whew. Thank you, Young Bao. So electric. So you weren't How even great. scared. What's wrong, Thomas? Well, I should have been the one to have saved the day. I saw the crossing arm was stuck, and I was gonna tell someone, but... Yong Bao is our hero. Did you see that? Oh, yes. So you had a chance to be brave and missed it? Yeah. I wish I could have shown Yong Bao how brave I really am. Well... You may not be the bravest engine on Sodor, but you did get to see Yong Bao bravely leap to the rescue. Well, I would have, too. You really are the bravest engine. Well, we'd better get to our delivery so we don't miss the fireworks tonight. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now, line up, racers. First engine to Vickerstown wins. Ready, set, all engines go! Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Hold on tight! Whoa! 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 Come on, let's catch up! Yeah! I thought the number one engine was faster than that's all you got? Not even close. Here comes super speed! Woohoo! Come on, Woo Thomas! Whoa! I can still win. Chugga chugga! Woohoo! Huh. That looks just like Thomas's light. Thomas! You forgot one of your lights! <sighs> okay, guys, first month at Vickerstown Station after me is the winner! And Thomas is the winner! Woohoo! Oh, wow, Thomas, you sure are speedy. That was amazing! Gasket. Maybe we can fix it before Gordon gets here. I'm <gasps> here! Well, how did your deliveries go, hmm? Are all of the lights safe and not broken? I, um, well, you see... <gasps> 
Gordon, the truth is... The tracks were bumpy! <laughs> what? They were. But that's not how it broke. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> but <laughs> accidents happen. <laughs> Besides, the Festival of Lights will still be grand with your second light. Phew! Right! My second light! <gasps> Where is my second light? You, uh, you did have the second light, <laughs> correct, Thomas? Um... Be right back! I... I can't see anything. He must be too far out. Cranky, can you see him? Looking... Nothing. What are we gonna do? <gasps> Harold! Can you help us? He's not hearing us. Cranky, could you lift me up so we can hear? Whoa, oh, so high. Harold! Harold! Daisy and I were playing hide and surprise. And I think he might be stuck on a barge out at sea. Can you help us find him? 10-4, that's a pilot speak for okay. <laughs> Operation Find Your Friend Diesel is a go. Thanks, Harold! Uh, Cranky, do you think you could let me down now? <gasps> no, 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 not again. I need to get off this... Uh, whoa! <laughs> if I wasn't so worried about winning the game, I wouldn't be stuck on this silly barge. Now, I'll probably never get a chance to beat anyone at anything ever again. Hey, you squawked for your friends. That might work. I can... For mine. Okay, they'll hear me any minute now. Any minute. Maybe I'm too far away for them to hear me? I've got to get them to see me somehow. Hey, was it something I tooted? Where Diesel is. It's Harold. Harold! I'm over here! Ahoy, Diesel. Heard you could use some help. Bingo. Now for step two. You can start pulling anytime, Harold! <sighs> I was, but this barge is really heavy. <sighs> ah, broken blades. We're gonna need a new approach for Operation Rescue Diesel. But you can do something, right? I don't want to be stuck on this barge forever. Not to worry, friend. Help is on the way. Bullstrode! I got it from here, Harold. This isn't so bad. Four more packages to deliver. We'll be back at Tidmouth Sheds in no time. Yeah. Uh-huh. No time. Great. Uh, Percy. We're gonna get through this together. And you can't keep an eye out for scary stuff if your eyes are closed. Okay. Okay. Look, there is nothing scary on these tracks. Uh, not scary dancing tree. Not scary water tower. You try. Okay. Not scary fence. Not scary moon. Not scary shadow monster. <laughs> shadow monster? Ah! Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not a shadow monster. It's just the shadow from a jack-o'-lantern. You're right. <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Uh, probably nothing, I think. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's only that squeaky weather vane. Oh, it scares me every time. 
Happy Halloween, Mr. Weatherbane! <laughs> The cow's so spooked. I can't see anything in all this mist. I don't see anything. But come on, two more deliveries to go. Whiff's recycling, then bring them dogs. <laughs> Package delivered. One more job to go. Well. It's a monster claw! Wait, actually, I don't know what it is. That's not a monster's claw. It's a bunch of old rails! <laughs> wow! So far, a lot of what we've seen isn't so scary close up. <laughs> this is fun. I'm glad I didn't hide in my shed. The night was way scarier in my head. That's Halloween for you. Pure, get the chill, silly kind of fun. Yeah, like that ghost train behind us. It's just a... Uh... Wait, ghost, ghost train? train? Ah! Ah! Ghost scaring machine, engage! Thomas, that's an old bucket. Sorry, Diesel. I just don't see any more. Hey, guys, you here to pick up recyclables for Bullstrode, too? Race you to Brendam Docks, but you know I'll win. <laughs> Connor's got Rusty! You'd better catch up to her before she makes that delivery. Then let's quit slugging and get chugging, Thomas. Catch you back in the sheds, Percy. <laughs> Looks like Bullstrode's getting ready to leave. Oh no, hurry! There you are. Told you I'd win. Hey, where's your cargo? Kana, where are the cans? The cans? Oh no, I dropped them off to Bullstrode and he just left. Uh, this just keeps happening. We'll never get Rusty back now. I made you a Thomas promise and I'm gonna keep it. What's going on? <gasps> okay, that was pretty impressive for a chimney head. Yeah, no. Oh. <gasps> Got it! My can! You found it! Oh, Rusty, I missed you. And now that you're back, everything is... Uh, that's not my can. What? Of course it is. It's got a rusty spot, just like yours, see? This can has a rusty spot on the bottom. My can has a rusty spot on the top. They're totally different. But how? Both rusty cans and... Diesel, wait! Diesel, wait up! I don't get it. Why is this so important to you? That can is crusty and old, kind of creaky and cold. No, it can't hold your hand. And it's not made of gold. It ain't much of a talker, and it can't sit or stand. Why do you love that rusty can? He may be squeaky and loud, and he can't race around. But if you tell him a secret, he won't make a sound. No, he won't hug you back, but he'll stay till the end. Oh, man, I love my rusty can. Bum, 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 bum. He's a thin piece of tin. He's a bucket of junk. He's so icky and sticky and full of gunk. But he means so much more to me than I ever planned. Oh, man, I love my rusty can. That's right. Oh, man, I miss my rusty can. I see why you miss your rusty can. All right, team. Put your axles into it. As soon as we fill Pumpkin Station, it'll be time for hay rides. Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle should be loaded with passengers and ready to go. Why don't you go pick them up from Knapford? You got it. You want to come with me? Absolutely. <laughs> passengers, 
passengers sound excited for the hayride. They certainly do. They can't wait for the hayride. See, it doesn't matter what season it is if people are having fun. Yeah, the passengers are pretty happy. <gasps> Whoa! The pumpkin station is trinktastic! Come on, let's go. This does feel as fun as a day at the beach. Told ya. Pumpkin Station looks gorgeous. Good job, everyone. All that's left to do now are the hay rides. Sparking! I wish I was pulling one of those hay carts, but since you don't need me, I guess we'll be heading back to the sheds. <sighs> if only there was something more for him to do. <gasps> I know! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fall Festival. Let the hay rides begin. Have fun. Enjoy all the red and gold leaves. Oh, no. My coupler seems to be acting up. I can't tow the hay ride. <gasps> Yay! Yeah! I mean... Oh, no. But Gordon's coupler's fine. Oh. This is terrible. If Gordon can't tow the hayride, what will we do? All oh, those happy passengers will be so disappointed. Never fear. Thomas can do it. I can? He can. Certainly. Would you fill in for me, Thomas? Yeah, Thomas. Hook up. Well, I wouldn't want anyone missing out on a hayride. That's the spirit, number one. <laughs> Have a good well, time! Enjoy yourself. So, are you still missing summer? Nope. You showed me how great fall is. Laying in the leaves, the colors, all the happy people. It's been an unbelievable day. Uh, Sandy, can you help me with my... <sighs> whistle? Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is... Wow. <laughs> Massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Try it now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old... Wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm going to need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. <sighs> I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. <sighs> Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. he doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks. Should be trouble making trucks. <gasps> Uh-oh. One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy. I have to warn him. He can't hear me. <gasps> But with your help, maybe he will. 
Okay, just follow the number one bird. This isn't my shortcut. No, but uh, you'll see. This way is much better. But it will take us twice as long. No! Cole's farm is way out of our way. I gotta get back across Crovins Creek and into the forest. Hmm. Oh, uh, Gordon, I heard you delivered all the cement for the ferry terminal at Normby by yourself. That can't be true, can it? It can, and it is. <clears throat> it was no small job, let me tell you. All the cement had to be delivered in one night, and no other engines were available. Well, everyone said it couldn't be done, but I said it's blocked. This is definitely the way to go. Well, by that time, I had delivered only half the cement. It was almost morning. Time was running out, so I dug in and... What? Why are we in the forest? These bricks have to be delivered as soon as possible. We'll get to Normby much faster this way. We're not going to get there at all this way. We have to go the other way. I insist. Switching right. Hey! Break it! Whoa! Oh, my brakes! And, uh, uh, Thomas, wait! See? We're crossing Quick Draw Bridge. Yes, but we're crossing it in the wrong direction. And look, there's the big windmill. This is definitely the way to go. Uh, no. You're thinking of the other windmill. Back into the forest is the way to go. What are you doing? I'm taking us the new way. But this is not the right way. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. <sighs> no, it isn't. Go left! No, go right! Huh? Thomas? What are you doing over there? Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, Thomas, I, I might need some assistance here! I'm coming, Gordon! Stop wandering off like that! I'm doing my best, Gordon! And we're back on track! Uh-oh. Everything okay, Tom? Yo! The tracks are closed! Stop! Phew! That was close! Harold to Thomas and Percy. Howdy, fellas. Over. Harold! Harold the helicopter? Wow, it's so cool to see you. <laughs> Roger that. Right back at you. Over. First mate Percy, we're coming to a fork in the, uh, the ocean. Let's go left, toward the cows. I think he really wants you to look at them cows. <laughs> uh-huh, yes. Thomas and I are delivering a submarine. The left fork. We're going toward the cows. <laughs> they are nice cows. Well, I got to delivery at the docks. Over and out. Bye, Harold. See you soon. Ah, uh, he can't hear me over his rotors. Huh? Percy? Ow! Are you okay, Percy? Sorry, Captain. Couldn't hear you over Harold's rotors. Yeah, I couldn't hear you either. His rotors are loud. Harold is amazing, though. Absolutely. But you need a way to communicate so we'll understand each other if it gets loud again. Even if it's loud, our whistles are louder. How's this? One peep will mean yes, and two will mean no. Great. And one long peep or toot for faster, and two for slower. Right. 
Got it. And four quick blasts if you want to go super fast, and a blast and a half if you want to go like a little bit faster, and also three quick peeps if you want to stop. And then, stop. If then, you want to get then. That's a lot to remember. So you good? Well, great. Let's get back on track. Um. First mate Percy, let's go fast through that tunnel. One long peep. Okay, that was one long peep. That means go faster. He understood me. Okay, let's do this. <gasps> the bridge is up. We need to stop. That's three peeps. Huh? What did 12 peeps mean? Oh no, maybe Percy can't hear me on the other side of the mountain. I gotta try something else. Oh. Huh? Oh, fun! Tom sent up a stop signal. A stop signal? Stop! <laughs> Phew. Dum de dee dee dum, another quiet day on the river of Thomas. So, so quiet. Thomas, that's an old bucket. Sorry, Diesel. I just don't see any more. Hey, guys. You here to pick up recyclables for Bullstrode, too? Race you to Brendam Docks, but you know I'll win. <laughs> Connor's got Rusty. You'd better catch up to her before she makes that delivery. Then let's quit slugging and get chugging, Thomas. Catch you back in the sheds, Percy. <laughs> Looks like Bullstrode's getting ready to leave. Oh no, hurry! There you are. Told you I'd win. Hey, where's your cargo? Kana, where are the cans? The cans? Oh no, I dropped them off to Bullstrode and he just left. Uh, this just keeps happening. We'll never get Rusty back now. I made you a Thomas promise and I'm gonna keep it. What's going on? <gasps> okay, that was pretty impressive for a chimney head. Yeah, no. Oh. <gasps> Got it! My can! You found it! Oh, Rusty, I missed you! And now that you're back, everything is. Uh, that's not my can. What? Of course it is. It's got a rusty spot, just like yours, see? This can has a rusty spot on the bottom. My can has a rusty spot on the top. They're totally different. But how? Both rusty cans and... Diesel, wait! Diesel, wait up! I don't get it. Why is this so important to you? That can is crusty and old, kind of creaky and cold. No, it can't hold your hand, and it's not made of gold. It ain't much of a talker, and it can't sit or stand. Why do you love that rusty can? He may be squeaky and loud, and he can't race around. But if you tell him a secret, he won't make a sound. No, he won't hug you back, but he'll stay till the end. Oh, man, I love my rusty can. Bum, 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 bum. He's a thin piece of tin. He's a bucket of junk. He's so icky and sticky and full of gunk. But he means so much more to me than I ever planned. Oh, man, I love my rusty can. That's right. Oh, man, I miss my rusty can. I see why you miss your rusty can. This isn't so bad. Four more packages to deliver. We'll be back at Tidmouth Sheds in no time. Yeah. Uh-huh. No time. Right. Uh, Percy, we're gonna get through this together. And you can't keep an eye out for scary stuff if your eyes are closed. Okay. Okay. Look, there is nothing scary on these tracks. Uh, not scary dancing tree. Not scary water tower. 
You try. Okay. Not scary fence. Not scary moon. Not scary shadow monster. <laughs> shadow monster? Ah! Huh? Oh! <laughs> That's not a shadow monster. It's just the shadow from a jack o' lantern. You're right. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? Uh, probably nothing, I think. Come on. <laughs> it's only that squeaky weather vane. Oh, it scares me every time. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Mr. Weathervane! I wonder what got the cows so spooked. I can't see anything in all this mist. I don't see anything. But come on, two more deliveries to go. Whiffs recycling, then bring them dogs. One more drop to go. Well, ah! Ah! it's a monster claw. Wait, actually, I don't know what it is. That's not a monster's claw. It's a bunch of old rails. <laughs> wow. So far, a lot of what we've seen isn't so scary close up. This is fun. I'm glad I didn't hide in my shed. Tonight was way scarier in my head. That's Halloween for you. Pure, get the chill, silly kind of fun. Yeah, like that ghost train behind us. It's just a... Uh... Wait, ghost, ghost train? train? Ah! Ah! Ghost scaring machine, engage! <laughs> Sandy and Carly. Yeah, I can't believe that actually worked. We still have a little time, right, Bullstrode? They know you gotta leave at sunset. Where are they? Thomas promised he'd be here. He'd never break a promise. I wonder what happened. Get back here! Why are you listening? person was me. Hmm? It's headed for the water! Almost got it! Yes! Wow! Oh. Ah. Ah. Whoa! Percy, look out! Great. What are we going to give Yong Bao now? Uh-oh. It's almost sunset. Yong Bao will be leaving soon. And we don't have anything big or special for him. When I first came here, I worried about forgetting my other home in Kenya. But lots of things make me think of it. Like the pattern on my sides, Normby Beach, even hearing a familiar tune. <laughs> But those are just little things. Yes, but I couldn't forget Kenya when so many little things made me think of it. So maybe it doesn't need to be a big thing. It could be 
little memories. <gasps> I've got it! To the docks, everyone! We can make up a song on the way! <clears throat> Sorry, young pal. It's uh, time to go. I understand. Go ahead, Cranky. <sighs> they didn't come. <gasps> That's Thomas! I knew you wouldn't let me leave without saying goodbye. All right, team. Put your axles into it. As soon as we fill Pumpkin Station, it'll be time for hay rides. Thomas, Annie and Clarabelle should be loaded with passengers and ready to go. Why don't you go pick them up from Knapford? You got it. You want to come with me? Absolutely. <laughs> You sound excited for the hayride. They certainly do. They can't wait for the hayride. See, it doesn't matter what season it is if people are having fun. Yeah, the passengers are pretty happy. <gasps> Whoa! The pumpkin station is trinktastic! Come on, let's go. Day at the beach. Told ya. Pumpkin Station looks gorgeous. Good job, everyone. All that's left to do now are the hay rides. Sparking! I wish I was pulling one of those hay carts, but since you don't need me, I guess we'll be heading back to the sheds. <sighs> if only there was something more for him to do. <gasps> I know! Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fall Festival. Let the hay rides begin. Have fun. Enjoy all the red and gold leaves. Oh, no. My coupler seems to be acting up. I can't tow the hay ride. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. I mean... Oh, no. But Gordon's coupler's fine. Oh. This is terrible. If Gordon can't tow the hayride, what will we do? All oh, those happy passengers will be so disappointed. Never fear. Thomas can do it. I can? He can. Certainly. Would you fill in for me, Thomas? Yeah, Thomas. Hook up. Well, I wouldn't want anyone missing out on a hayride. That's the spirit, number one. <laughs> Have a good well, time! Enjoy yourself. So, are you still missing summer? Nope. You showed me how great fall is. Playing in the leaves, the colors, all the happy people. It's been an unbelievable day. Okay. My eyes spy. Oh, well. Let me guess, another tree? Or is it rails? We've been on this route a kajillion times. There's nothing new for your eyes to spy. It was a tree. Well, my eyes spy something blue. Is it me? <laughs> no, they have a beautiful smell, so not me. Uh, Diesel's right. There's nothing to see here except for tracks and trees. Yes, there is. It's those blue flowers right beside the tracks. Oh, I never noticed those. Mia, how do you even see this stuff? Well, we don't have those flowers where I grew up in Kenya. When I saw them, I thought they were so beautiful. And they only grow in Sodor. Okay, but really, what's a secret? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I ask myself, what's awesome about this place? Hmm, let me try. My eyes spy. <gasps> those hanging vines! Those flowers are pretty awesome. And, oh! My eyes spy, that shadow you're making, Mia. It looks just like a dinosaur. <laughs> awesome! Roar! Ooh, ooh, let me try. 
I spy this gravel. Oh, that's so amazing. And that rusty old switch is so beautiful. It's true. I never noticed that rusty switch before. Now you're getting it. There's so much to see if you just take a moment to look around. I know. I've been in the dark woods so many times, but everywhere I look, I see new things. It's blowing my mind. <laughs> Let's catch up to Nia. Uh, guys, you'd better slow down. Slow down? Whoa! my bumpers that was close. Whoa! Oh no! The orange tree! We can't show up to the plaza without those amazing orange trees. But I'm sure we can think of something else to bring. Nia's right. There must be something else we can do. No, nothing will be as awesome as those orange trees. Except, maybe those orange flowers in that bush I never noticed before. <gasps> we can use flowers from Sodor for the plaza. Oh, yeah. We passed lots of plants that would be perfect. Great idea. Uh, Sandy, can you help me with my... <sighs> whistle? Whoa, I've never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is... <laughs> Wow, <laughs> massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> Try it now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old... Wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm gonna need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later? <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. I know you want it to be fixed, but it's just a little longer, and then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks. Should be trouble making trucks. <gasps> Uh-oh. One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy. I have to warn him. He can't hear me. But with your help, maybe he will. Okay, just follow the number one bird. Which means it'll only last for a little while. 
And you'll need to go slower to make sure it stays on. No time to slow down. With the storm coming, we have to finish the deliveries. That's most important! Huh. She didn't thank you either. You're welcome! Huh? Carly! Sandy! I've lost power! Sandy, Carly, at your service. I don't know what happened. My engine just suddenly stopped. It looks like you need a new intake vent diesel. This one's Sandy. <laughs> Sandy? Um, you're Sandy. <laughs> I know I'm Sandy, but his intake vent has sand in it. I've cleaned it out, but he'll need... need a new one. Come on back to the sheds, Diesel. No can do. We have to get these deliveries done. Pronto! <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting close, pal. Fight that wind. Whoa! Oh, oh no, Thomas. It's your wheel. We better call Sandy. Carly, Sandy. Boy, are we happy to see you. My wheel's cracked. Can you help? Sure. Up you go. And now, this is a temporary wheel. It won't last all day, but it should get you through a few deliveries. Great. Think. Here you are. We need a switch repaired by McCall's farm. We can't get to the barn to pick up the milk delivery. <sighs> Come on, Carly. Uh, Sandy? <gasps> oh, no. Well, Sandy, you've been working so hard, you literally blew a gasket. Wait, I'm out of service? I, I can't be out of service. I am the service. I'm so late. Hey, I think this could be a shortcut up here. This is great! I wonder why I've never gone this way before. Now we're back on track, and I'm not gonna miss a thing. Nia, this is a one-way track! <gasps> oh, James. I must have missed the sign. I have beach balls, Nia. Bouncy, bouncy beach balls. How am I ever going to find them all? I'm so sorry, James. I was just trying to stick to my plan. Oh, well, accidents happen. If anyone can handle it, I'm sure I can. Hey, look. Is that a beach ball? And Mia. Hey, Mia, what happened? <sighs> I had to go the long way, but I went the wrong way instead. Because of the cows? I heard some cows caused a traffic jam at Wellsworth, and it messed up traffic all over the island. How are your deliveries going? One, I didn't get to see Bitsy frolicking at McCall's farm. Two, I didn't get to see the palm trees swaying at Norrenby Beach. And three, I'm going to miss the concert in Vickerstown. Thanks to me, there's not even going to be a sunset concert in Vickerstown. Well, you can't do everything. Thanks to my plan, I'm not going to get to do anything. And nothing is going to get delivered. It's good to have a plan. But maybe you just tried to do too much? That's true. I did try to do too much. So now we need a new plan, a not too much plan. But I might need your help. Sure. Tell us what to do. We're, We're in. in. OK, Thomas, you need to get these palm trees to Normby Beach. But the track is still closed because of that traffic jam. That's okay if you're up for adventure. You're gonna go by water. Uh, Nia, Thomas may be amazing, but he can't swim. No, but Bostrode can. Awesome! I can't wait to see how they look. Kana, this piano needs to be in Vickerstown before sunset. Can you do it? With my speed, it'll be a breeze. And I'll take the cows to McCall's. 
because that's the one thing I wanted to see the most. Percy, can you find which way is the least crowded? Can do. Now this is a plan that's going to work. Those palm trees will be beautiful. Thanks for the ride, Bolstrode. My pleasure, Thomas. <laughs>